Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a card game. All right, so all this week we are gonna look at card games. That's right, card games. Now you'd say, well, okay, why are we doing card games? David usually only does playing cards and magic reviews. That's true, but if you think about it, playing cards has the word playing in it. Like there is this assumption that they could also be used for playing games. We talk about poker, right? And just playing card games, wanna play solitaire or something like that. Uh, even tarot cards originally could have been used to play games with, and so it seems only natural that I would also be interested in card games, and I am. I'm also interested in card games, and I do collect card games, good card games, and I thought, you know what, let's take some time to go through some of my very favorite card games. All right, let's go. All right, so today we're gonna look at Marvel's Dice Masters. Specifically, we're gonna look at the amazing Spider-Man starter set because that's the one I got. Uh, but this will be applicable to all the different Dice Masters titles, and we'll go into that as well. All right, so what is Dice Masters? Dice Masters is a really fun game. It's put out by WizKids, uh, and they say that it's targeted for uh, people 14 and up. Uh, and it's only for two players. So this is only a two player game, you and your opponent. And it takes about 20 minutes or so to play. Uh, the starter set uh, is about 20 bucks. So if you want to pick up a starter set, and that's definitely how you need to start, okay? Some, some CCGs, you can actually buy the blister packs and create your own. But with this, with this you definitely need the starter set to begin with. All right, so like $20 for the starter set, and then a couple of bucks for your booster packs or blister packs. And then inside those uh, booster packs, you're only gonna get two cards and two dice. As far as what comes in the box itself, um, you're gonna get dice and cards, really, and that's how the game is played. It's played with dice and cards, nothing else. Uh, and for as much as it is a card game, for as much as it is a collectible card game, it's also a dice game. So the dice play just as big of a roll, if not more so. In the box, you're gonna get 12 basic action dice. You're gonna get 16 hero dice and 16 sidekick dice. You're gonna get 24 hero cards, 10 action cards, and four color reminder cards. All right, so how do you play? How do you play Dice Masters? The great thing about this game is you can set it up for a short game or a long game. And that all depends on how many cards you bring to the table. Now, this isn't a CCG where you bring a whole stack of cards like Pokemon. You're really only uh, selecting a handful of cards that you're gonna use as your heroes. And then your heroes will combat against your opponent's heroes. So you wanna play a quick game, you could do like two heroes or three heroes. Uh, you wanna do a tournament style game, you're gonna have eight heroes. And of course, when you add more heroes, there's also more dice. Now the dice in this play two different roles. The dice can act as currency, so uh, there's three sides on your dice that have energy, and you use that energy to purchase additional dice. You use that those dice to purchase your heroes. And then the other side of your dice, your other three sides, um, act as your heroes themselves, and so they represent themselves. So uh, let's say you've got a Wolverine die, okay? Three sides of that Wolverine die are gonna be energy, and the other three sides are gonna be Wolverine the character. And when you have Wolverine the character, show up, you can send him out into the field, into uh, attack mode, and he can either defend you or he can attack for you. And your opponent is gonna be doing the same thing. If you send out people to attack and there's no one to defend, then uh, the difference comes off of his remaining life. If you send out people to attack and your opponent has defenders, then the two of those uh, superheroes square off in a battle and you determine who wins and who gets knocked out. At the beginning of the game, you decide how many life points each person will have. Uh, tournament style is 20. And so uh, you win the game when you're able to knock your opponent's life points from 20 down to zero. Now the trick is each one of your character cards, each one of your superhero cards also has text on it. And the text are the additional rules that are specific for your die. And each character has their own unique playable rules. So that's fun. And there's also something else called basic actions, and the basic actions are applicable to both players. Uh, you can purchase basic action die um, uh, from either side of the board, and then those basic actions kind of help 
the melee. They help your superheroes, and uh, they're able to add a little bit more flavor and a little bit more originality to the game as well. So no two games will ever be the same so long as people bring different characters, different amounts of characters, and different basic actions. Is this game similar to other titles? Um, it's kind of similar to Star Wars Destiny, and I only say that because that's also popular right now, and I have another video uh, that explains how to play Star Wars Destiny. But uh, it's the, not the same game mechanic, all right? Not the same game mechanic at all. Gameplay is not the same, um, but just the concept of dice and cards together, and then the card text tells you how to play the dice, that part is similar. All right, so expansion packs. Is there something else that you can add on to this to make it even more fun? Are there other things out there that you can use. Um, it depends on how you want to play. I think there's some people that would like to play uh, as a purist and say, oh no, you know, we're playing um, Dice Master's Spider-Man edition, so you have to be the Spider-Man characters and I'm the Spider-Man characters when we play together. But there's also other titles out there. There's a bunch of different Marvel titles. There's a bunch of different DC titles as well. And certainly, there's nothing wrong with playing Marvel versus DC or Batman versus Iron Man. You could totally do that and cross worlds just so long as your opponent um, is familiar with your cards. You know, the cards that you bring to the table, you're definitely going to want to share the text that's on them so that they're aware and they can play better. But there's no reason why you couldn't mix worlds. In fact, there's Yu-Gi-Oh! out there as well. There's Turtles, uh, Ninja Turtles, and there's even Dungeons and Dragons. All right, so is it fun? You know, at the end of the day, that's what we really want to know. Is it fun? Um, Dice Masters is a little complicated to learn, only because there's a lot to learn. But I think once you learn it, it's, it's easy. It's second nature. You, you see it and you go, oh yeah, it's this. So it, it's not, not hard after you learn it. Um, th I think this is a very easy title to play, especially compared to Destiny. I think Destiny was harder to learn to play. Uh, and I think this has great characters, especially if you already love these franchises. If you love the Marvel Universe like I do, you're going to love this game. Or if you love DC, then you're definitely going to want to pick up the DC expansion packs. Or if Dungeons and Dragons has always been you know, too expensive for you and you don't want to buy all the books and all the... you know, Get the D&D Dice Masters game. It's going to make D&D uh, so much more accessible and so much more playable. I think, you know, definitely, if you were a fan of D&D in the past and you want to get back into it, dude, do the Dice Masters D&D. You're going to love it. It's also very affordable. I think uh, Destiny is a much more expensive game and Dice Masters is so affordable, especially since you can buy the starter set and begin to play right away. If you bought the starter set for Destiny, you actually have to buy two, right? Because you need yours and your opponents. And then you still don't have enough to play. They don't even give you enough to play with in those starter sets. So, but if you start with Dice Masters, you get everything you need. And if you buy boosters, you can throw those boosters in immediately and begin playing them. You don't have to, you know, save boosters or collect lots of boosters. Any new booster you get, you'll be able to put into play right away. And like I said, it's not a true CCG. A, a, a normal CCG is you, you have this deck building aspect, but in Dice Masters, it's more of a dice building aspect. And in, in traditional CCGs, you kind of build your deck ahead of time and you've thought through like all 60 cards, like, you know, like in Pokemon. But in this, you're kind of building as you go. You really don't know how the game's going to play out because you're rolling the dice and you're taking chances. You know which characters you're starting with, but you don't know which order you're going to start using them. You don't know how your opponent is going to react. You don't know if those characters are going to get knocked out or if they're going to stick with you or if you'll be able to roll them you know, again and again and again. So I think Dice Masters is a little bit more on the fly. You're being more strategic in the moment. Plus, Dice Masters has so many more options uh, than Destiny. Of course, you can get DC or X-Men, Defenders, Batman, Iron Man, Yu-Gi-Oh, Turtles, Dungeons and Dragons. There's, there's so many more titles out there and so many more ways to take it. Plus, I think the dice are cooler. The dice are actually more like die, where they're two different colors and the markings are engraved inside the die. In Destiny, the, um, the surface is painted and you could just scratch the images right off. And so uh, the dice are all the same, but they just have different images painted on them. So I even like the dice better for Dice Masters as well. Definitely a lot to learn about Dice Masters. I hope this has piqued your interest, makes you wanna uh, watch more videos or at least get an expansion pack and start playing. Like I said, it's put out from WizKids. It's probably ages 14 and up, although I play with my 10 year old and he can figure it out just fine. I hope you stick with me for the rest of this week where I go through a different card game every single day. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. As a special treat for you, because this is game themed, you get bonus content. Yep, bonus content for watching this all the way to the end, so good on you. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, just know that typically I review playing cards and magic tricks, and if you're a subscriber, you'll get special information every single month uh, when I do giveaways. I give away a deck of playing cards every single month, sometimes two, sometimes three. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.